right. Hello, everybody. Um, Dredge Wolf. We've already taken care of the uh, temple over here, little monastery. So we're heading on our way. My guy doesn't want to go. Oh, That's because you're... Do something stupid. Yes. Right. Okay, here we are. Well, this time you don't have push to talk as an excuse. The soup. That's what I missed, the soup. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. <laughs> I don't know, those mind flayers seem to be perfectly capable of going through the meat. <laughs> yeah. They can crunch right through skull. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad. Twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. So uh, how do you think we should respond? Can you hear me, Zach? Yeah, I can hear you. At least I heard that. Where are you? Um, oh. I went up the hill. Ashton. Past the net. What are you doing, Zach? I'm kind of in a cutscene, so I can't really come on down and uh, show you where I went. Hello? Oh, what the fuck? Why is it? Hello? Okay, now my mic's freaking working. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it freaked the hell out when I started the stream. Yeah. All right, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So yeah, I went up the hill, past the net. Yes, I, I followed you. Okay. All right, and so now we have to... I'm in a cutscene. Yes, we are in a cutscene. Yes, that's where we are. We're in agreement that we're in a cutscene. So I'm waiting for you to tell me what you think we should do. All right, I'm reading the options. I don't know. She's pretty mouthy. What do you think? Leave her up there? <laughs> yeah, we could uh, go with number one. There you go. Your words. Make them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't trust her. All right, I suppose she's... Given that we've met her twice, she's probably fairly integral to the storyline. I mean, um, you can murder any NPC you want. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, well, let's... uh. 
How about number two? Uh, have them have them get the trap down, right? Or will that kill her? Uh, well, we can uh, have it go either way, really. At this way, we're just talking to the tieflings, trying to get them to leave. Okay, but aren't we telling them to shoot the trap down? Mm. Right? Number two, shoot the trap down. Yeah. Kill it before it hurt someone. So I'm assuming that, I'm guessing that kills her. Or does, or does it just... Or does it just relieve us of the hassle of having to get the trap down? I'm not sure. Yeah, I've always kind of gone with number one. All right, let's see what happens with number two, because we can always restart, the, restart it if she's dead, right? I mean, that's assuming we don't want to kill her. <laughs> wow. Well, I think you, I think you, I think we're gonna really wish we had that role sometime later. Yeah. He's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Damaze? Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. Give but one chance. Join me or die. Okay. Well, next, we just go down and talk to her? Well, we have a choice. Either murder the tieflings or kill her. Really? That's it? Yep. Well, I don't really want to attack the tieflings. Yeah. I don't really want to kill her. So, reload and persuade them to leave? Yeah, I think so. You okay with that? Sure. Sorry, I'm a softy. I don't like going through these games and slaughtering everything. That's fine with me. Are we streaming or are we just playing? We're streaming. And apparently, like, my audio is really loud and yours is really low. All right. Um, here, is that any better? Uh, I don't know. In channel two, I can pump up the volume a bit in channel two. That should be an improvement. So, person in the chat, is that an improvement? <laughs> They're like, no, I can actually hear him better now. <laughs> All right. Because I'm so damn funny. Yeah, you'd best be on your way, loser. <laughs> okay, why are we running back? What do you mean? Oh, okay, there you go. Got ourselves a chest. <laughs> I got to it first. Yeah, that's fine. Gold shared amongst the party, and, well, I don't need a potion of mine, Raiden. Well, turn down your volume, so I'm not as loud. Me? Or, or them? No, I'm talking to them. <laughs> All right. Here you go. I see you on my map. I went to the exact same spot. Zoru was right. Yellow was a toad. There, is that better? It's the same for me. All right, do we want to enter the cutscene? I'm in it. Just kind of waiting for you. You might try communicating, because, you know, we can talk to each other. 
I mean, I told you I was going right to the same area, and it triggered automatically when I got to proximity. Okay. All right, let's do number three then. Okay, you got to roll a 10. Or do I? Is that better? Oh, I'm waiting for Dredge Wolf to roll. Because yeah, I'm waiting for the complainers to stop complaining. Oh, you'll be dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you're killing it now with the rolls. We'll see if that He's holds. Right. Let's go. We need to check out that. You know, these tieflings are easily distracted. Good, so we came for a look. Yeah. You chose number one? Yeah. I mean, I was, it was either that or leave. Oh, for Dude, I've got my mic down like almost muted i don't know i don't know what to you tell you man loud. you are pretty loud yeah i've got it almost muted i don't know what to tell you is there a way of setting you have it muted where in discord or in the no setting? i have it the microphone itself i've turned down the microphone itself like to oh. almost muted well check your input volume in discord Oh. All right. Yeah. How's that? Uh, too low. Bring it back up some. How's that? Tr try again. How's that? Um, a little bit less. Here? That seems like the same. Okay. Apparently, Tim thinks I'm fine <laughs> on his end. Okay. We're good then. Yeah. I chose yeah. option two. Yeah. <laughs> she's a snotty. Well, yeah. she's snotty. Okay, so now we need to... Uh, N knock the bird out of her tree. There you go. Yep. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. What's the what's her name? Lazy L. Lazy L. Yeah. My yeah, Lazy L. Yeah. Right. I must find a Lazy as L is what right. she is. She obviously sees all right. Uh, more cutscenes. Okay, sure. Don't let her take advantage. <sighs> It is many things. Mm. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gaith tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. All right. She's never going to be polite, so we just go with number two? Or, or does, do we not need her in our party? Um... If we pick number two, if we took, if we pick number three, I think she'll just completely leave permanently. If we pick number two, she'll tell us there's no space, and then she'll go to the camp. Okay. And do we have a need for her character later? Not particularly. Okay. Um, I guess like I went. I went through this with her being completely dead the first time around. Okay. Um, okay, so we must report to a Gustile for purification. That sounds painful. 
Yeah. And we don't know where that is, so. Mm -hmm. So, okay, well, we need to find a gust deal. I guess we just let her go our own way. You would sacrifice yourself to Geich. Such tiring mediocrity. She is tiresome. Yeah. Oh, God, she's obnoxious. Very yeah. Well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Seems nice. Yeah. Okay. I can so... think of another word to describe her. <laughs> I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go up this way. You should go around, around the hill. So I'm gonna uh, go up the hill. You should go around the hill. Okay. You'll see why in a second. Like that? What? Like? Oh. All right. Come over here. Over here. And go straight. Past me. There we go. Down here. Yes. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> it's lagging all of a sudden. Nobody gets in. Like way. I right, should be triggering a cutscene. Yep. What's going on? Goblins are on our tail. Open the gates, Devlor, now. You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please, there's no time. No, I'd say the goblins are there. Open the gates! Wogs. Cannon! No! Damnable roach. <sighs> Provoke the blade and suffer its sting. Come in, it's battle. All right, see now the melee's down there where he can get charge right into the battle, and the range are up here. This way. See. Wow, that was really something. <laughs> yeah, those are quite the dying screams. Wow, it's not going well for the uh, for the guys at the gate. Yeah. Well, that's no loss as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> oh, wow. You'll see why when we get into camp. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, gnarly. Nice. killed that one okay it's my turn to do wow there's like one left no there's like four left there's one uh on the opposite opposite side of the rock right in front of you
Let's see. Oh. No? Oh, there he is. Excuse me. I couldn't see him. Oh, shit. I gotta, I gotta dash, and then I won't be able to do anything. Alright, I'll say... I'll... You could shove him when you get there. Or you could use your bonus action to do something. Yeah. Do it, pal. Let's go. And then I got a bonus action to do... I can jump, I can dip, I can shove. That's about it. Yeah, you can give him a shove. <laughs> wow, that's quite the shove. I had no All right. idea. All right. Oh, you're kicking the puppy. <laughs> oh, nice death scene. Really? That yeah, guy's a miss. Keep missing. Jesus Christ. Ooh. That little bastard hit me. Wow, another miss. Ah. Oh. Well he's still alive. I was gonna I was gonna get him. And then, if I have a... I'll shove him again. Squish. Looks like there's like one left. Yep. Be nice if I hit at least one thing in this battle. There we go. With my main character, at least. That was the last. Oh, that's it. Inside, all of you. More may follow. <sighs> open the gate. <laughs> He's like, open the <laughs> gate, and all the gate operators are filled with arrows. They were tenacious. I wonder what they wanted here. Other than bloodshed. I just wonder if the grubby little beasts had any friends. And if they're nearby. Are you in loot bodies? Yeah, you can you can go over and talk to um Traps, talk to Zoru and Arden. I don't really care. I was just gonna go through the gate. <laughs> Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Yeah. Well, where are you going? Looting. Oh. <laughs> All right. You. You act like it's Philadelphia. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. So you see those uh, three people up ahead? Uh, yeah, the people up ahead, yeah. Yeah, you can run on over and talk to them. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good idea. But I'll do it anyway, since I'm helpful. It never hurts to help. All right, I probably should. Uh, building. An 
the hell are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. You were literally screaming for help five minutes ago. Eat a dick. Yes. He was. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. <sighs> this guy's such a pain in the ass. Just click on the D20. Ah, 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 ah. That sucks so hard. Yeah. You can roll it again. Sure, why not? Oh, there you go. Oh. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. Time to pack. <sighs> Holler. Yep. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Refugees, kind of adventurers, antsy <laughs> and argumentative. And suddenly we're overwhelmed. Right. We're met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Oh. <laughs> Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> okay, what are we doing here? Oh, uh, there's a whole bu No, I'm vendoring. Oh. If you have to ask. Oh, I, I can. I bet I'm not a very good. I bet my character probably isn't a very good pickpocket. No. <laughs> and considering you're a paladin, probably shouldn't be pickpocketing. Yeah, probably not. Gotta be a goody two shoes. Not unless you want to start being an oathbreaker. <laughs> so. So we've got a bunch of stuff here we can buy. We've got these uh, gloves of missile snaring. So, uh, you, yeah, you can expend your reaction to try and intercept a missile from a ranged weapon attack. You uh, can reduce the damage by 1d10 plus your dexterity. Um, that could be useful. What else you got? Let's see. We've got this scroll of stinking cloud. See, we've got a ring of flinging. The wearer gains a 1d4 oh. bonus to throwing damage. Scroll of stinking cloud? Isn't that just toilet paper? <laughs> yeah. All right, and what was the other thing? We've got a ring of flinging. So whenever you throw something, you can add a 1d4 on top of uh, whatever the damage would deal. Throwing <laughs> something. That's yeah. not like a, a ranged weapon, is it? No. You actually have to throw something. Yeah. Okay, so if I wanted to like pick up a chair and throw a chair, it would add one d four of damage. Yes. That doesn't sound that useful. What do you think? I mean, it's useful if you like throwing things. Uh, I'm not that good at operating the game to throw things. <laughs> um, what do you think is best? 
I'll go with your. Card. Well, we well we've got more stuff. Okay, what else? We got a ring of male armor. It's plus one. That also gives you a bonus to strength saving throws and checks. Okay, that's useful. And what else? You got a chain shirt that's plus one. That reduces your slashing damage by one. That's nice. We got hedge wanderer armor. Gain a plus one bonus to dexterity saving throws and tech checks. And gives you a plus one to nature. That sounds pretty damn good. We have hide armor, plus one. Gain a bonus to dexterity saving throws and checks. We have some padded armor, plus one. And you take one less bludgeoning damage. That's kind of lame. The other ones were better. We got a uh, Rain Dancer. It's a 1d8 weapon that can uh, cast the Create Water spell. It's a 1d8 weapon that does what with a water spell? It can create... It can cast the Create Water spell. Oh, it can cast a Create Water spell. Yes. Um. So would that be useful against fire or just when we're thirsty? Yeah. I don't know if it would do anything to fire. I never really thought about it. Huh. All right, what's your call? <laughs> well, we've still got more to go. Oh my god, keep going. Yeah, We've got Spell Thief. It's a 1d8 bow. Once for short rest, you regain a level 1 spell slot when you land a critical hit with the Spell Thief. We have an axe called the Dragon's Grasp. Deals an additional 1 to 4 slashing damage to burning targets. Oh, your mother would love that. She always <laughs> wants to set zombies on fire. Then you could just yep. cut them up real good, too. I mean, the way she's able to burn you with her words alone would make that very useful. <laughs> uh, it's funny because it's true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We've got a scroll of detect thoughts. Although that's kind of useless because with our tadpoles, we can just read thoughts already. Sure, sure. We got a scroll of Misty Step. This allows you to teleport to an unoccupied space you can see as a bonus action. Actually, that's pretty damn cool. Yeah. That actually might be really useful. That'd be really good for you. Yeah, I was thinking, especially for my character, because he has to be up close and personal. Yeah. We've got a scroll of Steam Invisibility. So if there's an invisible creature around, we can cast this and uh, make them no longer invisible. Um, that's handy, but you never know if it's going to work, right? Because you never know if there's invisible critters around. Yeah, until you're already getting smacked. Yeah, until you're already getting smacked. Yeah, we got a scroll of Speak with the Dead, but we've got a cleric with an amulet that can do that already, so we don't really need that. Right. We got a scroll of Web, covers an area in thick flammable webbing that slows creatures within it and possibly, uh, inwebs them. Um... So you get to play Shelob for a little bit, huh? Yeah. And then we I got... Definitely... See, I could see that being pretty useful if you've got multiple enemies coming after you. Yeah, but that also... You know, that area applies to you. You won't be able to get into the area that's been wet. That's true. That's true. We got an Arrow of Illmater. It deals uh, 1d4 Necrotic, and it prevents the target from regaining hit points. So they can't that's heal while that's cool. applied. That sounds pretty good. We got an arrow of Roaring Thunder. It uh, it pushes targets back five meters. That and then may, we got... I think the other the necrotic one would be more useful. Go ahead. And then finally, we've got an arrow of darkness. Spreads magical darkness on it. Um, so that means I wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing either. Yeah. All right. What's your call? Well, I think we should get the scroll of Misty Step. Yeah, I would say that sounds pretty darn good. We should probably get that ring of male armor for you. Yeah. Um. I think. We should probably spend the rest of this on supplies for the camp. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. 
Camp supplies. Camps. Sylvanas, guide your path. I'm going to send the armor and the teleport to you. You should have those in your inventory. And you've got a level up available. I do? Yeah, you can click on that golden arrow and level up your paladin. There you go. Look at me, all fancy pants. I got my little teleporter thing and I'm leveling up. Yeah. Now, a scroll is one use only. Are you shitting me? Really? Yeah. Oh. I'll have to be careful when we use it. Mm hmm. So that was a good health increase. Yeah. And. Yeah, but as an Oath of Vengeance Paladin, you eventually get the ability to uh, cast that spell at will. Without the need of a scroll. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, but it, it does cost a spell slot, though. Sure. Step, Harry, strike. Damn it! It's just not land. There you go. <laughs> hey, you here with me? Yep, I'm in there. Okay. So, what do you think we should do? <laughs> Two seems a little cruel. Yeah. Nothing but goblins in the wild out for blood. And the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of options here. How about, um... How about something useful like three? What do you think? Sure. Or do you want to read his thoughts? But I don't think we need to read his thoughts. He's scared shitless. Yeah. I'll go with number three. I agree. Number three is typically what I go with. Alright. Nope. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's let's do this. There we go. There you go. I'll try and brace them better. Um, like so. Step, brace, parry, swing. Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. I'll go with number one. Just be a little snarky. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. <laughs> All right, give him a little it's just encouragement. Goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. So what is it that he gave that he gave up you? Uh battle axe. Me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that, is that worth um Swapping out my primary weapon? Um. You can wield this one with two hands. But, uh. Does that mean. Yeah, this might be a better weapon. Actually, this would probably be a better weapon for you here. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I sent you some more gear. I sent you a spear and some gloves. You sent me something? Yes. Okay, how do I look at it? Open up your inventory. Uh, letter I, correct? Yes. I did. All right. There's a bunch of green stuff. Stuff highlighted in green. Yes, that's all the stuff I gave you. Oh, ooh, you're so generous. Thank you. All right. So he's holding what looks like a hammer. How do I tell what's equipped? What's equipped is going to be uh, all around your character. The little icons yeah. that are actually around your character. Uh-huh. 
So that's what you've got equipped. And then the stuff on the right or left. Yeah. Yeah, the stuff on the left is what you've got stored in your inventory. Okay. Um so so he's carrying a hammer. Yes, and you have a spear in there that you can equip. Okay, so I have a potion of healing, scroll, of blah, blah, blah. I got a javelin, another javelin. Can I throw the javelins? Yes. Okay, so that would give me a distance weapon? Yeah. Oh, quill isn't going to do him any good. Um, bone... Okay, this is the Watcher's Guide. So I equipped, I have a Warhammer that gives 411. Oh, this Watcher's Guide is also 411. It's not really an improvement. Yeah, but the the spear or the javelin or whatever grants you uh, advantage on your next attack when you miss. Okay. It does? The green one I gave you, yeah. Oh, the the Watcher's Guide? For okay. Death Promise. When the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll against the target gains True Strike. Yeah. Grants you advantage, basically. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds pretty good. Um, okay. Well, I'll give that a try, then. Right. Did you equip the armor? No, I haven't. How do I equip something? Uh, left click, and then just equip. Or you can double click it. Okay, double clicking, because left clicking didn't bring up anything. Maybe right click does. Um, and then armor. Gloves of power. Yep. And then, um, scroll of misty step. I just leave that there until I need it. Yeah. And then, um... Ringmail armor plus one. That that as well. Um, I have scale mail of vengeance. Fourteen armor class. Fifteen armor class. Okay. All right. This is a disadvantage on stealth checks. Uh, da 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 da. Gain a plus one bonus to strength saving throws. Disadvantage on stealth checks. Oh, that's an improvement. Oh, styling. All right. Yeah. All righty then. Okay. Shall we proceed? Yep. Go on. Oh, we Give got a, a shit of these uh, dialogues. Yep. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Oh, me. I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. <laughs> this whelp is hopeless. <laughs> That's pretty Let's vicious right there. <laughs> Let's try number three. <laughs> hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... Sh the man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure. Red skin, single curled horn. Blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Seems like everybody was on the ship. This is a party boat. Right. I mean, if you remember from the original cutscene, it grabbed a shit ton of people. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, let's see. Let's be rude and peer further into his mind. <laughs> oh, jeez. The fiend again and ignite with Will's rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. 
Advocatus Diaboli. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Right. I'll try number three, see what he has to say about it. I'd be a fool if it didn't. I know the stories. Doomed to shed my skin. Become a lithid. And there's no coming back. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles. Least not yet, thank Balderin. Could just be good luck. But sooner or later, it's bound to run out. What do you think? Do we want this guy? Sure. <laughs> okay. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. I mean, on the outset, he seems more useful than the angry uh, uh, lizard chick. <laughs> yeah. All right, where'd, where'd you get? Oh, you're going down here? Yep. She's a thief, Hellspawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, looks like we got a party on the patio. Oh, cut you. Sorry. Rishabra, I'll rip your damn throat out! They seem angry. Yeah. Magrin, give him a chance. You get back. Keep back. Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. The women in this land are um, unerringly unpleasant. So far, yeah. yeah. Going over this way. Oh, okay. Oh, right. I totally forgot about that. Oh, not this one. <laughs> Dance upon the, the chick with the song. Tonight. Yeah, the not particularly well sung song. Yeah, I guess everyone a single tune can't be a jewel. Yeah. What stuff's just falling out of the sky? I'm not sure what that is. I guess we'll ask say number two. Yeah. More like butchering. I don't know why I bother. This looks like a a scene for sensitivity. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song. I can't. Nothing fits, you know? Her outfit's horrendous. Yeah. Very uh, gaudy jester. Yes, yeah, exactly. Hmm. It can't. 
can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. I'll start from the beginning. We'll take it slow. Dance upon the stars tonight. No wonder she can't play. Look at those claws. Holy crap. <laughs> Number one? Sure. Guidance. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Uh, Looks like you're gonna be gonna be lip lip syncing. That was interesting. Why don't we try again? Okay. All right. Oh my All god! Right. Wow, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> Moon reminds me of your grace for the love I can't repay. Rest and know that I will pray. Farewell, my dear old friend. There should be an option to smash the loot like Pete Townsend Sorry. from The Who. <laughs> oh, jeez. We'll go with number two. Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. <clears throat> she was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. I, I can still smell it. She'd yell at me for that clunky verse and make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn for her. Oh my God, all these she chick singer songwriters please. write the most maudlin tunes. You've earned it. I have a long way to go. But thank you. Uh, I needed this. I mean, she does have a pretty maudlin motivation. She does. What have you heard? Mm. Hey, There's a quest back up this way I forgot about. Okay. Why is that scene popping up above your head? Oh, it was basically uh, saying that it seems like the ox is looking at us. Good gravy, where are we going? Up this way? I guess so. Good lord! A better position. wonder if the gods are watching me. Really? <sighs> oh, Warlock I can't hit for shit. So, I'm all the way down here. All I can do is dash. You do have a javelin you can throw. Oh, well, yeah, but I can't. Can I? Hold on. Well, you may not be able to get him from here. Yeah, I got firebolt. I've got rush attack. I've got main hand attack. Is that what it's going to throw the javelin? No, there's a separate action to throw. 
It's the X button. The X button? Yes. The letter X? Yes. So I click this guy, and I hit the letter oh. X. No, you don't need to click yourself. You just hit the letter X. And you're in the process no, of dashing. I'm, like... I'm what? Your, your character's trying to dash at the moment. Oh, is he? Yes. Well, let's get it out of that. Okay. Dude. Now, now, I click on that on the bad guy. Not enough movement. You hit the letter X, and then you select your item, and then you hit select the bad guy. I hit the letter X, and it doesn't do anything. It should bring up a menu down oh, below. Okay. I, see it. I see it now. All right. All right. The watcher's guide, right? Yes. Okay, and then... Yeah, not enough movement. Thank you. Mm. Jeez. All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna have to dash first. Uh, let's see how well, far he's... I can get. With... Mm. He's going to die. Let me, try... Let me try movement. All right. Now try it. Okay. Now X. I click on um Why the fuck is there not enough movement? He's right freaking there. Right? I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't get it. All right. Well, I'll frick. All right, I'll get out of this and I will I guess that's it. That's all I can do. Meet this guy. Talk to the chick. I should speak up. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Uh, I've been to a Venus, but I'm no devil servant. We went to a Venus, did we? Yeah, we 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 were in a Vernus. That's where we started out in. Oh, okay. All right. What do you think, number three? I'm a, I'm a fan of number two. Number two, okay. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? Once again, I'm a fan of number two. Yeah. Well, let's see if you can make this one. Yeah. Be very disappointing if I didn't. Someday we're going to need that roll, and you're going to roll a two. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. God, another yes. unpleasant female in this Take land. This. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. Okay, wait, she's complaining that you smell like Avernus. Or a furnace, or whatever it is, right? Right. And yet she's soul coin, which frankly is Moving ahead. an abomination, right? Yeah. Basically, what happened is she thought that we were servants of a devil that right. had come over to get that devil shit back. Ah. But once she learned what was really going on, she was like, "Okay, well." Thanks for saving me. You can have this coin. Just one of those coins is worth 100 gold pieces. 
Wow. So yeah, she basically gave us 100 gold. That's that's cool. The holler. Hells, we can't just leave. They're kin. Okay. I'll oh, not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine, too. No doubt. Yeah. I'm a fan of number three. What do you think? Yeah, why not? Let's, um, let's get them all, all to agree to their own deaths. <laughs> yep. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too. Unless you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. <laughs> thanks? Okay. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. I I I believe her. I think she will. She'll do it. Right. All right. About to start a new cutscene. Uh, uh, I don't see. Not, oh, the there we go. The camp. Wasn't there? Thank goodness you came along when you. Oh. There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. I typically go with number three. What do you think? Sure. Aha! Uh -huh. You take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. What do you think? Potion. All right. As you down the potion, a comforting warmth spreads through you. Hmm. I swear you're still as peaky looking. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But Ow. worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. <laughs> oh, can you not, can you blame a guy for dabbling with a dryad? Right. Seen worse. Have you seen them? They're gorgeous. She's positively demented. I love it. Let's tell her everything. I agree with Asterian. What's wrong? Let's go. Sure. Yeah. Why not just say As you it? Recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly. I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help, serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Want to check out her wares? Sure. Hey, bother. Got a bunch of potions? 
Ooh, elixir of hell giant strength. That'd be good for you. I'll make sure that I'm not the only one benefiting. Yeah. All those coins. Um, we got a potion of invisibility. That could be handy. Yeah. I'm mucking down some soup. <laughs> We've got some potions of healing over here. Those could be really useful. Yeah, those can be terribly useful. Especially since as a count uh, for a paladin, I'm a lousy at combat. Right. All right. I think that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Be careful on the road. I hate if something happened to you. Take care, pig. Something tells me she's gonna have something cooked up for us on the way to her little pad. Yeah. Anyway, I sent you um, the Greater Healing Potion, and I sent you the Hill Giant Potion. Thank you. All right, let's see what the screaming's about over here. Let's talk to Barth over here. And over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. Number three. Sure. Knew it. Bloody well knew it. Fighting, but they certainly are good at thieving. What? Okay, number one? one. I voted number one. Yeah. Both of you thought striking a child was a suitable punishment. If his parents won't do it, I will. He's an orphan. How'd you like it if I struck you? You raise a hand to me. It'd have better of steel in it. I vote number one. Yeah. Oh, you got to roll a decent one for this. Yeah. Are you shitting me? <laughs> I think the kid's going into the stocks. We were wrong to trust you. I see that now. Go, child! And you, you had this coming. And stay down. <laughs> Why he blamed you? Yeah. Hey, we didn't do anything to stop it. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. <sighs> Alright, I caught it. Alright, we're standing in the front of a gate. Door. Yep. And down the door. Okay. And... There we go, finally. Okay. Oh, 
Snakies. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Raph? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Which one do you want to see? I typically go with number one. Girl, you mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. I... I don't want to take responsibility for the little thieves. Apparently, this uh, tiefling culture is... Uh, well, they're basically corrupt. Mm -hmm. um, you want to try and read Korga's, Korga's mind? Sure. Really? I'm not seeing the roll. Really? Are you fucking what? kidding me? What did you roll? You intrude on the circle. You intrude on my mind. More proof that outsiders must never be trusted. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. God damn, my luck is shit. Too good. Alright, what do you think? I'm a, little, I'm a little concerned about how the dice are going right now. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. I don't know that number one does us much good. This woman doesn't have much empathy. Yeah. Um, what, Are you better at persuasion or intimidation? Persuasion. Appealing to this woman's to... clearly inflated sense of ego seems like a pretty decent idea. Right. Right. Are you fucking kidding me? It's not showing me the rolls at all. I don't see them. I rolled a fucking five on the base dice. Fortunately, my bonuses were enough to boost it up, but to a success, but yes. barely. She is more valuable out there than in here. Tila to me. Out, Why would Gale approve? He's not even here. This has its limits. It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Holsen. Halsen isn't here. <laughs> Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. God, this yeah. one is a... <laughs> Another charming female in this game. Right. I think whoever wrote this didn't like women very much. Or I have a. Or they're one of the people who think that being aggressively unpleasant is the same as being strong. Right? Sure. Well, the, the whole boss bitch theme, right? Right. That'll right. hard have something to say. Yeah. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. God, it's she's a terrible liar. Tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination yeah. is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Uh, she's nothing. I mean, she lies about everything, so I guess we just go to three. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, nothing more than generic conversation left, so. Yeah. If she wanted, so, ask the woman wanted to talk to us. Let's see what she has to say. Okay. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster?
Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The Rite of Thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. All right, what do you think? I mean, there's no bar there's no there's no reasoning with her. It seems right. To me. Yeah. And reaching for your weapon is completely stupid. Right. So what do you think? Just leave? Yeah. There you go. Over this way. Bye. He's trying to do something stupid. What the hell? Come on, dude. All right. Just stay there for a moment. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. You can stay where you are. Right where where I'm at right now is good enough. Yep. Okay. A couple turns should do it. God damn. <sighs> Alright, what are you doing? Trying to unlock this chest and pick up this quest. Let's see. The marks crisscrossing the page don't look scribed so much as slash. Kaga, Swamp Dogs, Tree, Meet Me, Alone, Olodon. All right, we're heading out of here. Yep. <sighs> okay, uh, where'd you go? Um, do your character's uh left left yeah to your character's left okay are you talking to the bear no uh, you're heading right you need to go the opposite direction okay hold on a second All right, my character should be showing up. Yep. Not yet. He'll be, be on his way. Is someone singing? It's beautiful. Listen. 
So, number one, number two, or number three? Um, I don't know. I guess number two. Let's try that. Right? Don't you hear it? It's so peaceful. Number two? It's tripping. Sure. A sweet melody plays above the waves, beckoning you, drowning out all logical thought. Number two? Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's showing me the roll this time. Oh, let's see if you can beat this one. I don't know. The way my luck's been going oh. tonight. Fuck. Pretty close. Yeah, I got like those two 20s early on, and then it's all just been eating shit. Harpies? Yeah. Not really a harpy. Everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Oh, God damn. Yeah. She dead? No. There's a critter right in front of you you can smack. I know. Is it my turn? Yes, it's your turn. Oh, I missed that. Okay. So. Okay, let me make sure I'm choosing the right thing. You should have an ability called Divine Smite on your bar, right? Now, main hand attack. And then I have Rush attack. Firebolt. Inquisitor's Might, Divine Sense, Cure Wounds, Command, Thunderous Smite, 6 to 21. That's pretty good. All right. Yeah, hit him with a Thunderous Smite. Uh, Wrathful Smite, uh, the Thunderous Smite. Okay. And where is the darn thing? Where is it? Right in front of you. Okay, right there. Goddamn, right there. Did it do it? I think you missed. I think you clicked on the ground instead of the harpy. Oh. Well, that was lame. I mean, it really was right friggin' there. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> and stay in. All right, whose turn is it next? Oh. Really? Wow, that's amazing. So she's dead, right? Yeah. Don't leave her. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Are there any live ones still around me? Yep. Uh, well, there's one right in front of you. But you're probably going to have to dash to get to her. 
Or you can hit her with a firebolt. Hmm. Yeah, you can just use your radio movement and hit her with a firebolt. Okay. So, she, what, the one on the rock? Yes. Okay. Um. So you're trying to throw it? Yeah. Well, now you don't have a weapon, though. You're going to have to grab it once you get up there and re-equip it. Oh, really? Yep. Oh. Right, uh, where's Firebolt? Firebolt. Wow, she's tough. She's hanging on by a thread. There you go. Looks like the thread gave out. Are they gone? Okay, how do I retrieve it? Um, you're gonna have to pick it up off the ground. We're in a cutscene, by the way. Oh, all right. Which one do you think? Uh, number one. Okay. No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. What do you think, number two? Sure. They're... They're gone. Now there's just Mole. She'll be so mad. I didn't get the gold from the nest. I got to go. Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donnie. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Okay. All right, now. Better than the hunter get going. Oh, did you give me a healing thing? Yeah, gave us a short rest. It's right on the ground next to the harpy. I know, but I can't seem to... There we go. All right. Okay, so the javelin, uh, you throw it, and it doesn't... It's not like arrows, right? It's just it's gone. It's just, yeah. Once you throw it, it's gone until you run over and grab it again. Uh, jump. Let's see. I gotta walk over here. Mm -hmm. And where's jump? All right here. Okay. And continue jumping. Uh, I don't think you need to keep jumping. I think you can just walk. Uh, no, you just climb. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be up to you to get up, go over there and get the treasure because my character cannot leap far enough. Wait, I don't know what what you're talking about. So, you see this big old gap here, right here? The one that I'm standing right in front of? Yes. He, how far you can jump is determined by your strength. You have more strength than me, so you can jump farther than me. Okay, but it's a sheer wall. It looks to me I'm just going to jump, or do I jump to the onto you, this outcropping? You jump up to the outcropping. That Asterian is standing right in front of there. Okay. And so, let's get going. Come here, come here, jump. 
Yep, and then jump up to the top. Okay. Uh, you can loot the nest. Take it all. <laughs> Camp supplies and whatnot. Okay. Never wanted the easy path. Alright. That's it, right? Yep, you can come on down. Okay. How the heck did you know that was there? Because I've been here before. Yeah, but how did you know it was there the first time? Uh, I think one of my buddies told me it was there. Because he watched uh. a video of someone else playing and they found it. Oh, Jesus. One guy figures it out, and that's that, huh? Yep, basically. Again? Yep. And I'm back. Oh, I didn't. If you insist. Okay, now we can talk to the parents of the kid. You ever scare me like that again? And I'll beat you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. <laughs> Thank little you. Little hellion. Don't know what we'd do without her. Number four? Yeah, number four works for me. Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. We got a, we got a locket from that that grants us the dancing light cantrip. That's nice. Yeah, we don't really need it. That everybody here had dark vision. Here's Donnie. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. <laughs> it's tripping. Three. You see nothing out yeah. of the ordinary as you tend. 
pan back, the child slips between the rocks. Number one? Yeah, well, since you're already there, sure. Yeah. Are you kidding <laughs> me? God damn. Oh, my luck has been so terrible tonight. Roll yeah, again? I, no, I don't want to waste an inspiration on something like this. Do you have a limited number of those? Yeah, we only have um, we can we can have a max of four, and we only have two of them. Uh, for for how long? Uh, it lasts until we use it. No, I mean for the entire game. What do you mean? Four. For the entire game, we can only have a max of four. Really. So yes. a long rest, you don't get get them back. Son of a bitch! Wow. No, 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 no. Like, we get we get rolls of inspiration for uh, doing things that relate to our backstory in in the actual. Okay. So I think you took the folk hero background. So whenever you do something heroic to help the people, you'll gain a point of inspiration. And we can use that to reroll. Okay. But we can only store up to four of them at a time. I see. All right, that makes sense then. Oh, secluded chamber. I heard what happened. Thank you. For protecting the child. If the druids are this far oh, gone, okay, cut then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Number one's my vote. What do you think? Sure. It's good of you to offer. But there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership. And they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Hmm. Some may die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> I've had another one personally. I think we can handle it. Okay. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes. Of course. Goblin, not son of Are you climbing the ladder? Yep, I climbed the ladder. Okay. Oh, I see. I didn't see you climb the ladder because it just you know, you just disappeared. Yeah, it's a loading screen. Can I talk with this person? You ready? Um, no. Where the hell are you? Right to like right over here. Right here. Hold on a second. I'm trying to. There's a bunch of these little things. I am standing right next to you. Okay, all right. I had to turn around. I couldn't see anybody. All right. Now, who am I supposed to talk to? Oh, this person here? Yep, you're going to talk to this person here. The goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. I vote for number one. What do you think? Yeah. 
There's optimism, and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? Wanna take wanna make a bet? Yeah. Excellent. And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Borders Gate. Looking forward to it. So many ways to die. Okay. Uh -huh. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. You must be eager to get back then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. <laughs> no time to dally. Well, hello. Okay. What you doing? Getting the other characters across the ravine. Oh, okay. Because they yeah, weren't doing it. Don't waste yeah, they weren't doing it by themselves, so I just had to go and do it automatically. Or manually. <laughs> Hold on, it's freaking out. Saving. Okay, that's why it's... Oh, you need to jump. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please stay with us. I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A Ouch, that hurt. symbol glows marked on their flesh. Okay. And something within you stirs in response. Looting corpses? Uh, we're in a cutscene. Oh, sorry. Uh, you want reason to hold up your hand? You want to do number? Uh, I vote for number three. What do you think? Sure. Although with the way my log's been going, this might be the worst one. Yeah, you probably kill him. Right. Let's see how this goes. All right. Get it. The, oh. pa the patient might live. <laughs> He's hurt. Badly, an oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do, I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. What do you think? Hey, I, I vote for number two personally. Yeah, I do too. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect. All right, so we got some slaves, huh? Great. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. No, didn't save him. Edwin. Ed, please! He's with the Absolute now. You're that was a particularly dramatic <laughs> death. Edward, yeah, it was. Our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Okay. These people are zealots. Arguing with them probably isn't going to do a whole lot of good. Well, basically, what's what's happened is is that these people have uh, been magically enthralled, and because we have a little tadpole in our heads, we can take advantage of that to command them to do what we want. Okay. Okay. So, do we want to know who the absolute is? We probably shouldn't ask these questions of them, because. That could, you know, 
Right. I vote for number six personally. Sure. Well, and, and just leave Ed. I suppose. I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. Right into a pet. <laughs> or another owl bear. Yeah. True soul, absolute. What did they mean? They're clearly devoted to the absolute, whatever that is. I tried to loot the corpse and uh, getting a trippy experience. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. I think this is a bad idea. Yeah, this looks like a bad idea to me. Probably should do strength because you're going to be better at strength and wisdom. Sure. Yeah, let me add a bonus to you real quick. Right. There you go. Okay. Nice. Your muscles loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. For now. Okay, he's... Alright. Alright, it's, uh, it's a little after 8. We should be wrapping this up. Yeah, we got started a little late, so... Let's do uh, one last thing. Okay. Where are you? I'm still standing next to you. Okay. Oh, the, uh, oh you're getting everyone else. Yes. You're getting the rest of the band back together. Mm-hmm. Getting our goth girl and boy back together. Boy. It's funny. All of our legs are red. Yeah, that's because you're... Uh... It, it, walking through water and it's impeding your movement. Oh, is that why? Okay. Ouch. Interesting. How did somebody do that? Oh, oh shit! Oh, fuck! <laughs> okay. You gonna have her revive you? Yeah. Have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. You're still really messed up. You need some potions. Yeah. Eh, I'll we'll take a long rest. Okay, so what do we do with this chest? There should be a way to... I saw a person pick it up and use it and uh, bring it to another place. But it's being <laughs> finicky, I'm not sure how they did it. Pick it up again. <laughs> yeah. No one's Google real quick. Can I, can I? Should I steal this other stuff? Go right ahead. A dusty volume that speaks of the conflict between the sibling goddesses, Saloon and Shar, after Saloon ignited the sun and brought life-sustaining light and warmth to the universe. 
Okay, that's thrilling. Come back, come back. Don't fall off. I know how to open it. I want to be able to... Scroll of decadent thoughts? Is that what that thing said? I already know how to open the dang thing. I want to know how to... God dang it. I mean, I saw a video of a guy who was able to pick up the chest, bring it to a goblin camp, place it, and then the goblins all ran up to open it and all died from that fucking curse. I wanted to do that because it seemed like fun, but I don't know why the fuck it's not. Let me try pick up an ad to wares. No. Huh. So weird. Examine, maybe? Gilded chest. Medium toughness. Celine's seal. A little help, please. Resistant to a bunch of shit. Okay, what happened to it? I threw it. <laughs> Just tired of dealing with it? I want to see if I can throw it out of this area. <laughs> no time to rest. Oh, she's, uh, she's hurting, too. Yeah, because I can if I can throw out his cave then then we're baller. Because I can just fucking I can just throw it over to the goblin camp. Oh god damn it. You can't walk with it, huh? No, nope. maybe. Let's move. Light on my feet. Maybe shovel work instead of throw. No? I don't think there's a way to just... Uh, no, picking it up, does it? What's next? No one back home will ever believe this. Hmm. This is an interesting puzzle. These boots have seen everything. Nope, even use does it. Path is blocked, so no, can't throw it out of the cave. I wonder how the hell they managed to do that. Hmm. Yeah, you can't even pick it up. That's so weird. I wonder how they were able to do that. Then. I'll go over and get the thing that allows us to open it up and stuff.
crap. Come on, you two Taco Fox. Come on. It's oh. There's a gap. Come on. Really, Asarian? Come on. Are you going back? Yeah, I'm gonna go around and grab this thing. Okay. With the same symbol as the one on the chest. Maybe that's it. That is it. Possible. You in the cutscene? Oh, yeah. This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows? Could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. What do you think? I prefer number three, personally. All right. Let's see my luck fuck me over. <laughs> no, nah, you got it this time. <laughs> Thank God, Jesus. <sighs> Fine. Perhaps you can sell them for a couple of coins. God. I wonder if there's a way to reapply. Okay. I wonder if there's a way to way to reapply the curse. Reapply what curse? The curse to the chest. I don't know. Well, let's. We should probably take a long rest. Let's see what, uh... Okay, so we got Will here. Oh! We got, uh, Withers over here with something to say. again as predicted I shall be here in my camp for whenever thou hast need of my services what do you think number one sure or number two there are many answers to that question none are important Oh, good grief. Number one? Yeah, sure, why not? Correct. <laughs> Number one? Uh, sure. No. Yeah, I did go exactly what I thought we were going to get. <laughs> so, number one. one. Okay. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Uh, 
I vote for number three personally. Yeah. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. That's useful. Yeah, I vote for number two. Sure. A matter of coin. Two hundred gold to rest somebody. Okay. And if we want to change our class, we can spend a hundred. Uh, what do you mean? Like if you wanna, if you tire a paladin and want to play something completely different, you can just talk to this guy, give him a hundred gold, and you can swap to whatever you want. Oh, I see. But he's saying here a matter of coin two hundred. What's two hundred coin for? To revive the dead. Okay. All right. Well, my character's fine the way it is. I'll deal with him. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, I see. Can you help me change my class? One hundred. Um. I don't really care about the yeah. hireling stuff. Yeah, I, I think I think we should just go, don't you? Yeah, I agree. Okay. Wanna try talking to Shadowheart? See if she has anything to say now that's we're ending the day. <laughs> the Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. You want to go with number two? Yes. I don't know what you mean. What do you think, number one? Yeah. It's nothing, really. God, she's a terrible. Number one? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, let's, well, let's see how it goes. 18. Ooh. Well, you have advantage. 17, there we go. Wow, just when you needed it, huh? You're not right. You're to let this go, are you? You might wish you had. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. It is my holy mission to oppose Saluna, her teachings and her followers. <sighs> it hurts. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. Personally, I'm a fan of number four. Like, I don't really care that she's worshipping this weird deity. What do you think? Right, sure. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. How about number two? Yes. All right. Gladly. Okay. Um. You got anything you want to talk about with her? No. All right. Let's see, now we've got Lazel. What's up for discussion? The Githyanki Lazy people as hell. The men like the Blade of Frontiers. This will... Shalark, roughly translated, idealist do-gooder, or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. God, she is nasty. What's that? Talking to Lazel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you see what he what she had to say about Will? Sure. Let's see, you're gonna have to uh, bring up the dialogue history. It's at the bottom left. Okay, dialogue history. The. Githyaki people have a word for men like the blade of uh, roughly translated idealist do good or better yet benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset, his pursuit of valor, not so much. I wonder why I got a message saying Shadowheart disapproved whenever I brought the when I brought the dialogue history up. That's weird. I don't know. Because it's Shadowheart like a... disapproves damn near everything. Yeah. 
All right. I think we're done with her, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, we got Gail over here. Okay, let's talk to Gail. Gail's fun. I like Gail. I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course. They're sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Okay. You want to go with number one? Sure. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. I vote for number one. <laughs> sure. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? All right. Uh, what do you think? No, nah, I don't want to piss off, uh, potentially piss yeah. off long-standing companions. Sure. Let, let's go with two. Yeah. I agree. All right. I don't want to bring them along, so let's just leave. Okay, there's the man of the hour. Well. The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. I go with number four. All right. <laughs> I've come to know a fair few village clerics, but none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. Otherwise, I'd bet my last coin that the open hand temple in Baldur's Gate could help. Though a fat lot of good that does to us now. What do you think? I don't really see uh, why he was chasing a devil in the hells. Sure. Carlax fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the arch devils, Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach. Even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking. The damage she might be doing. What do you think, number one? Yeah. A powerful friend with a keen interest in... Privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Number one? Um, sure. You are a warlock. You know about bound souls and frozen tongues. I can only leave the rest to your imagination. Suffice to say, I hunt monsters, devils included, and I will do what I can to quench the coast of their flame. I think we've uh, probably heard enough from this guy for now, right? Wait. Yep. Now we have, uh, certainly not least, up over here, Darian. Do you mind? So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> I feel safer already. Number one? Sure. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Well, well, I guess that's it for now. Yeah. Mm 
Right. Oh. Let's say we go to bed. between dreams yeah, and snoring nightmares. that's funny maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong or maybe oh i gotta you just get lucky oh Shit. oh try it again Shit. is it gonna give you another chance to join in no no it's not what it looks yeah like. i'm in the cutscene i swear okay i i wasn't gonna hurt you i i just needed well blood there, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. I vote for number one. Yeah. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half-revealed. What do you think? Uh, I'm not a fan of using the illithid mind-seeking powers on our companions, because again, we might have them off. I, I agree. I vote for number one personally. At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. I mean, I'm a fan of bad decisions. I vote for number one. Sure. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. <laughs> well, it's your neck, not mine. But I don't uh, know. All right. Well, I'm going to go with number one. I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. Friggin' draining you. Alright, I'm gonna go with, uh, I vote for number one. Yeah. That's enough. God, where was this earlier? Oh, of course. God, that's a hole. Holy shit. That, that was amazing. Oh, gross. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. God this damn, that looks like it hurts. I won't forget it. You watch as he yeah. stalks off, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. All right, I say we end it here. Yep, sounds good to me. Okay. Yeah. It did just create a save, but I'm gonna go in just in case. Oh.
Okay. All right. We thank you all for joining us for our, for part two of our Baldur's Gate stream. I've been Dredge Wolf. And he's been Dredge Wolf. And I have been and will continue to be. Uh, I don't know. What the heck's my character's name? Sirloin Steak. Oh, yeah. Sirloin Steak. <laughs> don't forget the sir. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We hope you all have a wonderful evening. And we'll see you all next time.